Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to create embedded questions into a keynote presentation. And this will work with PowerPoint or anything else as well, uh, but we're using Keynote because we're sticking with the Apple apps for right now. Um, so, first off, I have a simple keynote created, um, and I'm going to be embedding Menti because I really like Menti. Um, it's really annoying because they only allow X amount of questions and there's just a lot of stuff, but I really like the data and the stuff that you can and the interface through Menti. But this would work with uh, Poll Everywhere. This would work with any sort of questioning system where you're getting real time feedback. So you need to be asking a question, and on your screen, you need to be seeing the answers coming in in real time. So Google Forms wouldn't work the best with this because that feedback generally isn't real time. You have to refresh your screen. Um, so Menti, Poll Everywhere, those would work really well with this kind of system. And I'm sure there's others out there. Um, but these are the two that I've kind of seen quite a bit of. Okay, so um, the first thing you have to do uh, is obviously go to Menti or whatever website you're going to and create your questions. Um, and then for this purpose, I'm on my Mac. So this is not an iPad, I'm on the Mac and it works with, your, with a Mac and the school has a bunch of computers that you can check out. Um, and so I'm just going to show you how to do it on a Mac. PC, the steps are similar, um, but you might have some tricky spots installing the software you need to install to get it to work. So, um, right, what I did was I went to a website called Live Slides, so liveslides.com, and this is an add-on that lets us um, embed websites into Keynote. So you go to liveslides.com, you download and install the add-on, and the add-on is very, very simple. Um, you pretty much just copy the URL and you paste it into a little text box that live slide pops up. Right. Once I do that it's going to create a brand new slide and this is the brand new slide it created. Okay, So it says you know the web contents there uh, but to view it you need to start the presentation. So I have already uploaded a menti that um, teachers did during um, the one of the resource hours or back to school or one of those times when we were all meeting. So if I play it, you'll notice the. So if I play it, you'll notice that first one it directs the students or whoever to go to menti.com, type in the code because that's not going to appear on the next slide. You'll see that um, you can see the results live. Um, obviously, these aren't changing very much because people have already submitted and it's not open for new polling. But if you were, if the students were answering, you'd see these numbers dramatically changing within. Um, the slide itself. What's nice here is that you don't have to leave, leave Keynote, um, so you don't have to switch between different apps or different programs. You don't have to switch between different devices if you're projecting on your computer versus your iPad or whatever. Um, it's all kind of embedded within one thing, and so you could ask a question, see the results, and then move on to the next slide or progress through your presentation a little bit more fluidly than you fluidly if than if you um, had to switch between apps. So this is how you kind of this is how you embed questions and feedback into your keynote slides. Hopefully this was helpful and uh, thank you and good luck.